Hi there, and welcome to the very first episode of The Beer Dog Reviews. I'm Chris, and this is Tyrion. Say hello, Tyrion. Good boy. Right, so, being the first episode, I thought I'd have a little treat first. And it's actually going to be the first in a three-part mini-series. All on Badger Ales. Today, we're looking at Hopping Hare. It's quite a nice one, this one. There is an issue here. It's in a clear glass bottle. Is that going to result in any skunking from the hops? By skunking, we mean when the sunlight gets into the glass, it can destroy the hops and therefore the aroma and flavour. So let's have a little look, shall we? It's quite a nice pale ale. Simple design on the bottle. Got this one for £1.80 for a 500ml bottle at my local supermarket. So let's have a little look. Yeah. Little, very little bit of smoke on the bottle. That smells good. And then give it a pour. Yeah. There we go. Back it in the glass. Got a nice crisp and clean white head on it. About two fingers of white head there. I'm getting a lovely aroma from the hops and some white stone fruit in that aroma as well. Let's see what the bottle says, shall we? So, they start with frisky, frisky legs, amber eyes, hedgehoppers and skedaddlers. So that's a little bit of fun on the bottle there. It's got a nice range of hops there. It's a mixture of American Amarillo and Cascada hops. So we've got a bit of Old World and New World. So that's rather nice. Let's give it a little taste. Wow, that is good. I have had this before, but as I'm doing a free part on Badger Ales, so start with one everybody knows and most people love. It's fresh, it's crisp, there's a nice tang to it. Slightly bitter, but that's very welcome. And reminds me of sitting out on the grass. At a festival, watching a band that you love. A far cry from today's weather in sunny Somerset. Nice, drizzly, miserable day. But this can take you right back to the sun. And just, a, just the aroma itself can do that. It's absolutely delicious. All right, what am I getting? It's definitely hoppy, which, as it's called hopping hair, you would think it would be. But there's a nice fruitiness to it. There's peach in there. There's, there's grapefruit. There's a bit of something else. There's slight orange tones to that. That is, it's well-rounded. It's fresh, crisp. Well, absolutely stonking, if I do say so. So... Like I say, £1.80, it's not going to break the bank. You could easily have a a couple, maybe three, four glasses of that and nice, chilled, sunny afternoon. So on that basis, I think we're going to rate that one a good 8 out of 10, I think. And cheers for that one. So, like I say, there's going to be two more episodes just on the Badger Ales. I've got Thirsty Ferret coming next. And then after that, Blandford Fly. I've not actually tried Blandford Fly myself, but I do like most Badger Ales. So we'll see what that one's like in a couple videos time, shall we? Drop a comment below if you liked the video. If you like the ale and 
give me some good suggestions on another beer to review and rate. Subscribe to the channel if you like. Hit that notification bell for any time that I release a video, you'll get a notification on it. And drop me a like or a comment. So from me, this is cheers to you. And from the beer dog who's now chilled out, lied on the floor and absolutely relaxed. It's almost as if he's had one himself. See you next time on the Beer Dog Reviews.